Well, um, there, there's recordings where I have two audio recordings, if you'd like me to play them for you, where an officer is saying he's 1055, extremely 1055. Right. I'm assuming that officer has training to identify drunk drivers. Well, I can't, I can't discuss the case, like I said earlier. Okay. I would love to sit here and talk to you about Sure, sure, but how about this? Personnel issue, and I can't discuss the details about this particular Okay, case. let's not talk about that case. For me, now, if... Listen it, to me. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to get in a debate with you about this. How, how else can I help you? Well, sir, I mean, you can, you can answer my questions. I mean, you're a, you're a public official. I'm a public official, and I just answered your question. But well, you want to get into a verbal... No, verbal you, no, debate sir. ...about something that I can't discuss. No, I, I know... The underlying factor here is the situation which is under investigation, which is a state personnel issue that I can't discuss with you. I mean, I wish I could, but I cannot. Okay, uh, okay, now I'm going to shift gears. I'm just saying is, um, if this were me, let's talk about me. Um, would I get an internal investigation before, you said everyone is innocent until proven guilty, but normally that process is uh, done before a judge, not cops investigating cops. Correct? Sir, I'm, I'm going to say this again, and I'm going to sound like a parrot to you. I cannot discuss this any further. Okay, do you, do you think this is... ...is a dispute over a situation which we have been talking about, and I'm not getting into hypotheticals with you. It's not hypothetical. These are facts. I mean, it, it, do you think it's just okay, so or that it's fair? Is there anything else that I can talk to you? I'm not going round and round here on the phone with you. I know. I don't want to go round and round with you. I'm just trying to highlight the system of that, that the double standard. He hangs up on me. Um... I have not hung up on Oh, you. I thought you did hang up on me. I apologize. I have not hung up. I'm sitting here listening to you. That's good. Don't, don't insinuate that I hung up on you. Well, it sounded like you did, sir. I'm sorry. There was a ruffle. I, 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 I apologize. I'm just telling you. I want to answer your question, sir. You have a dispute. You have a rightful uh, way to express your concerns about the situation at hand. I don't have any problem with that. I just want to know what you think about the situation that happened with Captain Williams. And I, like I told you earlier, I would love to sit here and discuss the facts with the case with you, but I cannot buy state law. Well, let's not discuss the facts. State law for me to do that, number one. I'm not, uh, you're trying to assume that law enforcement officers basically uh, provide services to other law enforcement officers on a day-to-day -day basis. And personally, I take that kind of offensive because I do uh, take my job very seriously. I swore to the oath, I swore to the Constitution, and that's what I do. So don't, assist, don't insinuate that just because one person uh, does it and, and the whole organization does that because that's what I'm, I'm gaining from you. Okay, I, I appreciate your view on that, but I mean, do you think this process is fair? Is this the same process that's helped with everybody else? What process are you talking about? Of how we deal with DUIs. The process is, is as I told you when we first started this discussion. If somebody is suspected of DWI, they are processed, they are uh, taken before a magistrate, and then they are provided a court date in which they would then, at that particular point, be either found guilty or not guilty. Exactly. They, don't, they aren't taken to motels. We're, we're coming back to the same thing. We're, we're going in circles here. I know. My I point understand your concern. You're frustrated. I wish I could sit here. I would love to sit down and talk with you and discuss this in detail because, believe me, I have heard both sides of the story, and I know that you're upset about it, but what I can only tell you is that I cannot discuss this and what this whole conversation is dealing with is the fact of all the, uh, the uh, circumstances that, that took place several weeks ago. I hear you, but don't you think it's wrong that people are? Be this man is still being paid by tax dollars. He's not providing a service for those dollars. I mean, I, if I if I was accused of drunk driving and missed my job, I wouldn't get paid anymore. Well, I can't comment on that. I don't make those decisions. Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's fair? I'm not going to give my personal opinion on that. I mean, it's just not right. I mean, th th what about the other officers? Have any of the other officers been disciplined in any way? I can't discuss that either. How come? Don't you think there should be some transparency here? Because that is also state personnel, sir. That's a personnel issue. That's under investigation as well. What do you mean by personnel issue? I mean, this is... State you're, personnel you're, law does not require that I divulge to the public of, of an investigation that's going on. That's state law. If I was to divulge, divulge that information to you, that is a misdemeanor that could be charged against me. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so why why do the why are these extra rights granted to those with badges and not to those without? Listen here, I have listened to you. I have tried to answer your questions. I'm not going round and round here anymore. Well, I know, but I mean, there's no. Tra I'm, I'm trying to highlight that there's there's a double standard here. But I'm trying to be just professional and courteous to you, and I've told you multiple times that I cannot discuss about this. I know, man, and I'm trying to say that. Don't you think that's wrong? You 
trying to get me to get my opinion. No, man, I'm just trying to get you. I'm trying to get you to think about the harms of your job and the the, the abuses and the double standards that happen within the industry you work in. Well, any other questions I can help you with, sir? I don't, man. I I hope that like this doesn't take seven weeks to figure out and that you you can come to this conclusion quickly because it's obvious this man was drunk. These people should be fired because they didn't do the oath that you swore to uphold. And you should take not personal offense to me calling, but their actions, and get a quick, swift judgment on this. Put them in front of a judge and let them... The United States of America, everybody can, can get their point of view, and that, that's what we have here. That's why we have the Constitution. So, I, well, I wish it worked. I wish I could talk to you about it, but I cannot any further. Well, I appreciate your time then, sir.